My name is Rob Schnabel, and I'm a restoration scientist with the Chesapeake Bay Foundation. And uh, we are up today in uh, Catoctin Mountains in the Harbaugh Valley, a portion of the Catoctin Mountains in Sibyllisville. And we're up here along Freen, uh, Friends Creek, and uh, we're doing a big buffer planting project. We're planting trees. Um, overall, at the Royer Farm, uh, we're planting 20 acres. Uh, last year, we planted 12 acres. And then on Earth Day this year, we're going to be planting uh, eight acres. Um, Forest buffers are, are critical for, for water quality, um, especially in the best spot to really do some of these buffer projects is in headwater streams, because this is where the water actually starts to form, form a stream channel. You're highest up on the watershed, and when you plant a buffer project, you're basically creating a sponge that helps absorb rainwater, infiltrate the water, and then slowly release it into a stream system like this. Uh, headwater is, is probably highest upslope in a river system and it's where a stream channel actually starts where you have a continuously flowing perennial stream um, and perennial just means that the water's flowing year-round and differentiate that between an intermittent stream intermittent streams will run dry during the during the warmer times of the year and then ephemeral streams are basically only flowing during rain events so perennial streams flow year-round and they're typically the smallest stream systems and highest up headwater streams are called first order streams and they stay a first order stream until they flow into another first order stream uh, confluence another first order stream then becomes a second order stream so just an example, the Mississippi River has so many order streams coming in that it's a 12th order stream system. Hey everyone, my name is David Tanna. I am the partnership manager out here at the Chesapeake Bay Foundation's beautiful Claggett Farm in Upper Marlboro, Maryland. It is a 285 acre working regenerative farm where we have a vegetable community supported agriculture program. We do 100% grass fed beef and lamb. And today we are actually in our native tree and shrub nursery where every spring we pot 10,000 or more bare root saplings in these two or three gallon pots. And then ultimately, after a year or so, they will go out to other farms in the watershed and help uh, install riparian buffers along creeks and streams in the headwater areas of the Chesapeake Bay. In the trailer, we actually have close to probably 450 native trees. We loaded up American sycamores today. We loaded up uh, silver and red maples today and a bunch of pin oaks. So these trees that are going to be planted in Frederick County are ultimately going to help water quality all the way down in Prince George's, Montgomery County and the District of Columbia along the Potomac River. Uh, it's wonderful getting volunteers out here learning how to plant trees, learning what they can do on their own properties for, for restoration, for water quality. And uh, CBF has been leading these projects for a while and it has dual benefits. It's not just for water quality, but also really critical for climate change. You know, plants are basically pulling carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and putting the carbon back into the soil in the form of soil organic matter, which helps create the sponge, which helps with water quality. So it's a dual, a dual use uh, practice for water quality and climate change.